Okay, so this is my uh, my work folder. My work folder just ignore everything else. We only need a uh, assignment folder and a ZSC folder. The ZSC folder contains 17 stock price sheets downloaded from uh, the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange. That's for 17 dates. And assignment folder contains, uh, these are the answers for the assignment, it contains three TXT files that you're going to need. They contain um, data that I've already compiled. Okay, so the first file you'll need to work with is the copy data macro. You'll we'll need this file. So um, open your Excel, Excel, and you will need to create a blank workbook. Now, after you create a blank workbook, um, go to File, and Options, and Edit. Then select the Analysis Tool Pack, this pack. And you'll need to go, go and just tick everything and click OK. Then go to the Data tab, and in the Data tab, check Data Analysis should be there. Now, uh, you need to watch for um, keystrokes. Okay, let me quickly enable my QI press so you can see my keystrokes, right? Okay, wait, well, it's still launching. Give it a few moments. Okay, so watch the bottom left corner of my screen here. If I press control, you can see I'm pressing control. If I press alt, I'm pressing alt. So this, this means the numlock is on. So now inside Excel, I'm going to press Alt F11, right? So it's going to give me this, and I'm going to say Insert Module. Then I need to copy all the uh, text from Copy Data Macro. So you edit, select all, and edit again to copy. Then back to the VB uh, module, then just edit and paste. Okay, then scroll back to the top. Now, when you scroll back to the top, look for this line, my path, right? Um, we need to edit uh, what's inside the macro and point it to the path that contains um, the ZSD files. So what we need to do is we need to copy data from all these ZSD files into a single um, workbook. So copy this path, this path here. Uh, back to the Excel and copy it inside the quotes. Mind the quotes, right click and paste. Okay, and then you need to uh, scroll down, scroll down a little bit uh, until you find a line. I think I saw the scroll here. There we go. Uh, this line with a uh, set source range. Now, these are the ranges that will be copying from these files, right, into our single consolidated file. So we're only looking at um, Lafarge, where is Lafarge? We're looking at Lafarge and PPC. And what we'll be doing is we'll be comparing if uh, the opening price, the opening stock price for PPC is affected in any way by the closing stock price for Lafarge, as well as uh, the trading volume, the number of stocks are sold for Lafarge. Okay, quickly close this, and then go back to um, our essential files. Then inside ranges, first you'll need the headers. So just copy this line with the uh, B11 to Z11. Copy that quickly and paste it back in the macro inside range, inside the quotes. Let's right click and paste, okay? Um, and then you need to run this macro up here. And it's going to run in the background and then give it a few moments. Okay, it's running. It's going to open a new workbook with all the values. So what you need to do is you need to select uh, all the headers, right? Um, we only need, select them up to Z, we only need a single row. So select all of them, leave one, and just right click and clear the content, okay? Then scroll back to the top. 
and to select anywhere on a blank cell. Now we need to change, um, alter the range again. So this time we we'll go back to our ranges and we are copying the ranges from Lafarge. Okay, so we're copying the ranges from Lafarge and we paste them into the macro. Right, paste them and run this again. This is going to copy all the Lafarge trading data into the into a new file and there we have it. Just select everything up to Z, sorry. Select everything up to Z and copy. And back to our first sheet, that's sheet one, and paste everything. Just paste this. Okay, and then the next thing that we need to do is uh, alter again for PPC, copy the PPC data. So, um, same process, alter this, paste, and run this. It's going to run and create a new document again. Give it a few moments. Okay, so we should have uh, sheet 3, there we go, uh, do the same copy up to Z, to Z, and paste it into uh, sheet 1, into sheet 1, okay, there we go, now we can, uh, okay, before we save this sheet, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy this uh, VB data again, so edit, select all, edit, copy, right, and I'm going to paste it into this sheet, so Alt and F11 again, right, um, there we go, then Alt Q, it's already copied in, so Alt Q closes that window, and then save, I'll save it inside my assignment folder, you can save it anyway, and give whatever, so I'll call it PPC Lafarge, sorry, that's Lafarge, uh, consolidated um, uh, consolidated analysis sorry about that analysis and save it in the next cell file and now I'm going to close all the other files that I don't need close this don't save I shall close this don't save and close this and don't save so now I have uh, this file. We need to call this uh, sheet, we'll call it uh, raw data. Okay, press enter. Then we need a new uh, sheet. This sheet we'll call it uh, contiguous. Okay, um, data. When you do your data analysis, you'll need contiguous data. So we are going to copy what we need from this sheet. So, since we are definitely need a PPC's opening price, opening stock price, and then we need, I can skip one there, then we need Lafarge LFG's closing price, as well as Lafarge's traded volume, traded volume, okay. Now, um, we can save that. So now I'm going to expand these. Right. There we go. And save again. So now we need to copy all of the PPC open stock prices from the raw data. So uh, PPC, there we go. Opening price, this is it. So PPC's opening prices are these. That's 17 of them. Right. We can copy and paste them into this. Uh, blank column there, quickly save, and then um, we need Lafarge's closing price, Lafarge's close, this is Lafarge's close, copy that quickly, and we paste it into the new, sorry, paste it into the new column, then we need Lafarge's traded volume, Lafarge's traded stocks, Total value, no. Total shares. This is what we need. Total shares. 
copy that and we paste it into the contiguous data right we paste it in and quickly save that now we need to format these two first these are currency so we format these cells as currency quickly and we format this the traded uh, stocks this is a number without decimal places so zero there and the 1000 separator okay now we save again so we move on to the data analysis tab and we select data analysis we are going to do a regression we do a regression test regression analysis so the y range will be the cpc opening price so we click here then we select the range from 2 all the way to 18 the 17 values back and for the x range we have two x values we have lafarge is closed and lafarge is traded so we select everything select both and scroll down okay there we go we have two and then make sure it's a new worksheet uh, we need the residual so tick that and click ok now if you get the summary output just quickly double click to expand all the columns there quickly expand all of the columns okay there we go and save now what we need is the p value um, we need to format this is a number with two decimal places click OK um, so what this means is looking from let me rename these values quickly x variable 1 will be the Lafarge close price and value number 2 will be the Lafarge traded stocks traded number okay then quickly save that again. So looking at this, we can see that um, the Lafarge close price and the Lafarge traded number, um, this is infinity. So they do not have uh, an impact on the opening stock price of our PPC values. Okay. And then the next thing that we need, wait, okay. So I, I wrote this down somewhere for clarity, what we are doing here. So the p-value indicates that uh, it does not have an actual statistical significant or impact on PPC's opening stock price. That's what those two p-values here represent. And then the next thing that we need is adjusted r square, which we need to format is a percentage. Okay, the percentage, and we're going to get a negative 11.7 percent. What this means, let me say it. Now, what this means is, uh, adjusted R value indicates that Lafarge's closing price and volume combined explain the dependent variable, which is PPC stock price, by 11, a negative 11.7 percent. Okay, so. Uh, now the next thing to do is do the decision support system, the decision support system. So we'll be analyzing days, days. So just copy these values for 17 days. So copy that, paste it in here, right? For sake of clarity. And then copy the predicted values those and paste them there and this will be the predicted price predicted predicted price okay I don't know what's wrong with me predicted price there we go expand that and we need to format this as currency again to format that as currency click OK and the next thing that we need is the actual price. And this we're going to get it from the raw data, the actual stock price for PPC, which in our case would be, wait, let 
let me get it from our contiguous data here. There we go. Here. Just copy that and paste it into the analysis sheet. I forgot to rename that. Let's quickly rename that to analysis. Analysis. Enter and save everything again. Okay. And then we'll need a buffer. Buffer. Now this buffer is a percentage and I'll be using a buffer of 5% for starters. And then quickly copy this in. Okay, there we go. Just quickly copy that in and save. Now, the formula that I'll be using for uh, the decision, the decision is obtained from the model created, let me quickly jump back to the folder, it's assignment answers. Now the model that I created is opening, the model that um, I created, which will be this, right, this is the model here. So the model is going to take in three separate financial values, which will be the PPC opening stock price and the Lafarge's closing stock price as well as the, wait, I'm forgetting now, as well as the traded volume of Lafarge, okay? So that's the model. And then the fourth component to evaluate is the risk, okay? Now, uh, we arrive at our predicted share. You can just read through here for the rest of uh, I'm using American spellings on a UK setting there. Sorry for that. You can close this. So the formula I'll be using will be uh, the decision. The decision will be equal to the um let me quickly go back and check I keep forgetting these values. It will be equal to the actual price that is the actual price that is the actual price and compared to compared to I just put these in parentheses since it's two of them to the predicted price predicted price times the buffer, okay? That's the formula I'll be using, okay? So, uh, that being said, so this becomes equals to, and then if statement, there we go, or if statement. Now the logical test will be if the actual price is greater than the predicted price times the buffer, okay, comma, open quote, uh, sell. Close the course. Comma again. If again okay, and open brace. Um, the actual price is less than the predicted price times the buffer. Okay. Um, comma. What do we do here? Open quotes. We buy and close quote, then a comma again, capital if, then open bracket, actual price is equal to predicted price times the buffer, well, comma, what do we do here? We hold, okay, then close the three brackets and press enter. Now what we need to do is we need to Excel copy these downwards for all the values and it seems we're being advised to sell our stocks all the way. Okay, so that okay, so we're being advised to sell our stocks all the way through. And now what's next? Now I guess I can do a count, quick count, a count of um, the values. Account for buying, account for selling, and account for holding. This count, which means this will be equal to count if, count if 
this range comma um, by then enter similarly equals to count count if this range is equal to some messages coming into my phone uh, comma cell and enter and then equals count if uh, this range again comma hold and enter so we're getting 0, 017 0 and I can actually do a percentage here percentage there so the percentage will be equal to this value divided by the total which is 17 and we can Excel copy these downwards okay and format the cells to a percentage and they're getting a cell on 100% so um, I think that's it save that quickly so that is everything this is the decision support system I'll just quickly change the color of those cells it turns like blue okay so that is the predictions there and the decisions old F11 well I can still open my macros I think if I press run run macro well it should be there somewhere oh, I can't find it I don't know what happened okay let me quickly insert module I don't know what happened to my macro copy everything I need to save it in one file for submission. There we go. And Alt Q. Close this. There we go. Now when I press Alt F11 and run a macro, well, it's supposed to run correctly and gives me a new workbook. I think I'm just doing this for safety checking. Okay, there we go. Then just close that. Don't save it. Now close the assignment. Let's save that. The macro, and now close all the files. Done. The assignment is complete. Stop recording.